Hello everyone, now this video will show you a new method to fix the Seagate LED from our opinion. LED means something like the blue screen of the computer and users cannot do anything if users uh, pension drive suffer the LED failure. Now let's check the steps to use the latest function the Dolphin Data Lab has created for users. We enter this program. So the very first step is to back up the ROM. Now we back up the original ROM. So the program is reading the original ROM now. Okay, next we can try to generate the unlock ROM. So this is our original ROM and we save this unlock ROM. Now this is unlock ROM. Now we go to the ROM operations and ROM edit, open file. Now we need to load the Unlock ROM here and click Disable Subsystem. Next, we can write this new unlock ROM to the hard drive. Click OK. Now the program starts to write the new unlock ROM to the pensioned original drive. With the COM terminal, we can check the current baud rate is using. Now, after we write this new unlock ROM, we can go to the COM terminal. We can try to power off and power on this pension drive. Now we can try to send this unlock key. At this time, we can check the hard drive ID status. We can exit this program and we re-enter the program to check the hard drive ID details. So at this time, we can find out the capacity has become zero. So because we have disabled the subsystem, so the SOS files have not been read. This is why we can see the capacity is wrong here now. So we can try to enter the F3D prompt. And we can see at this time, we have bypassed the LED status. But we can enter the F3T prompt and we can use the R command. So at this time, we can try to back up the SOS files. For example, we can go to this menu, the edit SOS file, we can try to read the end list. We can enter the switch to the ATM mode and we can try to back up the end list in the ATM mode. So right now, we have backed up the end list successfully. We can select all and export. And here we can send uh, all files, 35 RPM. Click C. So these are the steps to use the new function 
within the ROM edit. Here, disable the subsystem. So this new function help us to bypass the LED stages and then we can enter the F3T prompt easily. So we don't need to use the traditional method such as the hot swap, like the short connection and the virtual boot. So we can use this new method to bypass the LED stages. Thank you for watching the video.